One of these dishes was one of my biggest failures last time around. Will I be able to redeem myself? And welcome back to Cliffy Land. This is week in country number 73 on our second attempt of cooking the food of every country in the world. And tonight we're up to the nation of Honduras. Honduras is located in Central America. It borders the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean. It shares land borders with Guatemala, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. And its cuisine is delicious. It actually has a variety of different cuisines, which are a mixture of foods of the indigenous, as well as Africans and Spaniards. Inland, you'll find a lot of dishes which are very similar to that of its land neighbors that include things like carne asada and tamales and fish. There's also a very specific Honduran favorite called the baleada, which is a sort of a stuffed tortilla. And along the coast, you'll find the food of the Garifuna people, which are descendants of former African slaves, two indigenous tribes, and Spaniards. And those dishes involve a lot of fish, a lot of soups, and a lot of coconut milk in a lot of different ways. One particular favorite there is called the tapado, tapado literally meaning covered, as in covered in coconut milk. And that is a huge dish. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do that here. In fact, here's where we need to talk about how things went when we tried this last time. So four years ago, I was stumped because I didn't want to do a dish that was too similar to what I did just a few weeks ago with Guatemala and the tamales there. And I didn't want to do another chicken and rice dish and finding the tapado involved a whole lot of different things that I couldn't just cook for only two people. So I wound up doing three different dishes, which are the ones we're doing tonight. The first one being a jicama and chayote salad. A note about this dish. While jicama and chayote are ingredients that you will find in Honduras, looking now, I did not find a single suggestion that this is actually a traditional Honduran dish. Bear that in mind. I also did a tapado de pollo, which is a smaller chicken version of that tapado, which again, I hope is sort of Honduran. And tortas de plátano, which is a plantain turnover. Now, last time around, the salad was super delicious, loved it. The chicken dish was okay, not particularly memorable, and the tortas were something of a disaster. In fact, it was a kind of a huge epic fail, and mostly because I picked the wrong recipe to go with, and we're changing that this time. So this is the time where you need to find out what goes into those dishes. First, for our jicama and chayote salad, we'll need one jicama peeled and sliced into matchsticks, one chayote sliced into matchsticks, two to three large oranges segmented, one half of a large red onion sliced thinly, one to two limes juiced, fresh cilantro to taste, olive oil, and salt and pepper to taste. And then for tortas de plátano, or plantain turnovers, we'll need three ripe plantains, two-thirds of a cup of cooking oil, we're going with canola oil here, three tablespoons of flour, two-thirds of a cup of cooked kidney beans, or a quarter of a cup dried kidney beans, soaked overnight and boiled for about one to two hours, and four tablespoons of butter. And finally, for our tapado de pollo, or chicken stewed in coconut milk, we'll need four chicken quarters, legs or other portions, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of cumin, two tablespoons of cooking oil, we're going with canola oil here, two tablespoons spoons of sugar, three to four cloves of garlic minced, one chili pepper seeded and chopped, optional, we're going with the Fresno chili here, one onion chopped, one tablespoon of achiote paste, or if you cannot find that, paprika may do, a half to one cup of water or stock, we're going with chicken stock here, two red bell peppers diced, two green bell peppers diced, and two cups of coconut milk. That looks yummy, we've gotta get cooking! Into a large bowl, place the jicama sticks, the chayote sticks, the sliced red onion, and the orange segments. Sprinkle with lime juice, chopped cilantro, salt, pepper, and drizzle with olive oil. Toss thoroughly, cover and refrigerate until dinner. Place the entire plantains in a pot of water. Set to boil and simmer for 10 to 12 minutes until softened. Extract the plantains from the water, let cool, cut off the ends, peel the plantains, place the plantains in a food processor, add flour and butter, and blend into a smooth paste. Mash down and add a bit of water if needed. Set aside. Add one tablespoon of the oil to a skillet, heat over medium heat, Fry the kidney beans for five minutes, remove the beans and set aside. 
Add a tablespoon or more of oil if needed. Fry spoonfuls of the plantain paste. Spread it around with a fork to form a small pancake. While cooking, place a teaspoon of the fried beans in the middle. Fold up the pancake to form a crescent covering the bean filling. Fry both sides for around three minutes per side or until golden brown. Continue with the remaining ingredients. Season the chicken with salt, pepper, and cumin. Rub the spices in well and let rest for 30 minutes. Heat the oil in the saucepan over low heat, add the sugar, and stir constantly over low heat until melted into a brown syrup. This took us about 10 to 15 minutes. In batches, add the chicken, turn the pieces all over to get evenly colored. Let each side get browned, remove the chicken, add the garlic, the chili pepper if using, the onion, and the achiote paste. Saute until softened, return the chicken to the saucepan, add about half a cup of the broth or water, cover and let simmer for 15 minutes. Uncover, add the green bell peppers, add the red bell peppers, and the coconut milk, stir and add more water or broth if needed. Let simmer until the sauce thickens somewhat. Plate the salad in bowls, serve the turnovers family style, and plate the tapado. Serve hot. And how did that all taste? Well, sort of a mixed bag this time. Let's start out with the tapado de pollo. It was simple and considering where I found the recipe, eh, there really wasn't a whole lot to it. The flavor was fine, you could taste the coconut in there, and the flavors of the peppers were nice, and the chicken was cooked well, but they didn't really stand out, and I really couldn't get a depth of flavor. It was okay, it was fine. I'm gonna give the tapado de pollo three out of five globes. A simple basic dish that I'm sure could be improved upon. Then for the tortas de plátano. This time they were not a disaster, they looked right, they tasted right, and having those kidney beans in there gave it a nice little bit of uh, variety. However, they're a little bit dry and they probably could have been salted more. They seemed like they would have gone really well if there was some sort of sauce on top. In fact, it tasted much better dipped in the sauce from the tapado de pollo. So I'm gonna give the tortas de plátano three out of five globes. A good start, but could definitely be improved upon. And lastly, that jicama and chayota salad. Again, I don't know if it's any kind of traditional in Honduras, but boy, did it taste good. It was bright, it was simple, it was fresh. I loved it so much. I have to make a note to serve that to company next time I have a dinner party. The jicama and chayota salad gets a five out of five globes. Just simply a terrific salad. One of the best ones so far. So that does it for Honduras. Tune in next time when we row across the Atlantic to head back to Europe for our last H country and Hungary. It's gonna be good. See you then. And remember, if you'd like to see our streams live when they happen every Tuesday night, be sure to follow us on Periscope or Facebook Live. Like and subscribe if you'd like to be advised when these videos are posted. If you have any thoughtful feelings or helpful suggestions about the food I'm cooking, please feel free to sound off in the comments. Remember, links to the original recipes can be found in the About section. And if you like what you see, share it. It would be nice. Till next time, thanks for watching and happy eating! <laughs>